original vendor ordinance came to the table. I raised some concerns, as did some other council members. Um, I know Mrs. Gross indicated she wanted to add something to the ordinance. And we were uh, instructed by the mayor to get our comments in order and present them at the next council. I received a call prior to that meeting. Mr. Braun called, indicated that uh, he was calling at the request of the mayor to get together ahead of time so that we could hammer out our differences on this ordinance and come to some resolution that we could present in a united front at the next meeting. As we all sat here and discussed at the last meeting, as Mr. Braun mentioned, as he told everyone, we in fact did that. I was actually quite hopeful by that process. In spite of all the turmoil and everything that's been going on with council, we were still able, uh, admittedly, through an intermediary, but nonetheless, we were able to work together and come to a resolution that I think was positive for the community and met the city's needs. And to me, that was um, some at least port in a storm, that we were able to, to accomplish that. And when it was brought up at the last meeting, not one person on this council said that they were not in support of that ordinance. Not one person on this at this table said that they disagreed with um, Mr. Braun's characterization of this being an agreement that was reached by a majority and minority members of council. Um, and I think it's a fair resolution and one that should go forward. So I'm a bit dismayed um, when on Friday, when I open my agenda packet, I see a amended ordinance. I don't know where it came from. I don't know who put it forward. I don't know why it was put forward. No phone call, no anything to explain why that particular amended ordinance is appearing in the packet. I hope that uh, it doesn't mean that certain members of the majority have changed their minds and are reneging on a deal that was reached with uh, those of us in the minority because there is no question in my mind that an agreement, a compromise was reached. Everybody understood that to be the case. Everybody agreed with that at the last meeting, and there's really no good explanation why all the time that was spent by myself personally, hours and hours, and I certainly hope that that wasn't a fool's errand, that I didn't start. I'm not the one that, that began this process, but certainly was happy to work together to get it done. So I am uh, hopeful that the original ordinance, the blue line version, as uh, Peggy Goodwin described it, is what passes tonight.